Hey, what's up, everyone? It is Monday. I uh, just wanted to do, do a little recap on the podcast. I hadn't been on here a couple of days. Um, it's just been one of those things where I was a little bit busy. I've been trying to study for this test that um, I'm taking on Thursday. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a very good test taker. It's not very good. Uh, but I'm going to keep going at it, keep working at it, keep practicing so that I can get through there. Um, <clears throat> so our guest on Saturday was Carrie Van Arstelen. She's a health coach, also an RN that I've known for a while in one of the things that really, um, you know, kind of opened my eyes were people being accountable for their things. I talked about it before because I've been a PE teacher and for a lot of years I was overweight. I quit, uh, playing sports after high school and that was really what kept me active and kept my weight under tone, but I was still obese probably when I was in high school. I weighed about 260 pounds. I'm six foot three. So that's a, I'm a pretty big dude. I hold it pretty well. Um, but after that, I ended up getting up to about 350 pounds, and I lost weight a couple times. I actually lost 100 pounds at one point, and um, and then I I put it back on. So it's uh, it's always a struggle. So it was always nice, and the, the way that I got through that was I had a health coach to help me get through. Um, and it's it's more about eating. I mean, lifting weights and exercising does help. Don't get me wrong, but really it's poor eating habits. That's, um, and I know that there'll be some controversy about that. A lot of people will say things, but weight wise, you know, it's about what you eat. And so it was, it was very eye opening uh, situation for me. So I struggled with that for quite a while. Um, and I still struggle every single day. Um, I had in about three years ago, I had bariatric surgery, I had uh, um, gastric sleep surgery. And so I lost about 130 pounds, which um, put me down to where, well, I'm about 10 pounds heavier than what I was before. So it still still fluctuates. You still talk about those bad eating habits. And the nice thing about it is that someone who keeps you accountable, like Carrie, is great because it's someone that you can talk to. And sometimes you just need to hear them say something or listen or they know what your struggles are and they're able to help you work through those struggles. And that's kind of the biggest thing um, that... I get out of that. I also thought that it was awesome that, you know, um, she's the first female guest and it made me look into how I look at my life and all the things that my wife does and how she helps us around the house. And we have one child, she has three. So she's doing all those things on top of everything else that she's doing. My wife, same thing. I don't do a whole lot around here, so I need to do a little bit more. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a great, it's a great thing to have a guest like that who has this perspective on what things are, are, what things with health, with life, with all those things. And, and that's inspiring to know that people are doing that. She had to get out of her comfort zone in order to be on the podcast. She didn't really want to do that. She's kind of a quiet person. Um, but she did. And, uh, you know, she did great. I've had the most listens on that podcast. So if you haven't checked it out, there's a highlight in my bio, uh, check it out. If you want to see the whole thing, it's there. It's also on all the podcast platforms, so you can listen to it there as well. But um, a pretty inspirational interview, and that's really what it's about, trying to get people inspired to reach out for their dreams. Uh, she's an RN. My wife's an RN. Um, they both are working towards doing some things that, you know, will get them, make them a little bit happier. Because when, when it comes down to it, it's about serving people. And that's what I liked about her message about success. It was about serving people. Um, and that's what we're all trying to do. And that's, you know, a nurse, that's a big part of their job. Unfortunately, there's a lot of regulation that <coughs> is stopping them from doing what, um, what they signed up to do. So um, if you know a nurse, thank them. If you need a health coach, Carrie's a great person. Um, I can't speak highly enough of her. I wouldn't have her on my podcast if I didn't think so. Uh, she's a friend as well. So that's great. Um, so that's how I, you know, kind of have firsthand knowledge of that, but people struggle with things and, uh, sometimes it helps to just listen. I hope that you, that you find that as something that you might do sometime, just sit back and listen instead of offering your opinion about everything, something that I deal with every single day because I'm a very opinionated person. Um, but I've been working through that. So, um, I, I think you should too. If you have any uh, questions, DM me. If you're looking for a little bit of mentorship or maybe you want to just get together and talk, have a cup of coffee, hit me up, let me know. I'm always open to talk about what I'm doing, but uh, it's a mindset thing. And I really feel like 
the more people who work on this positive mindset versus a negative one will be great. We have so much negativity in this world right now, which is making things a lot more negative. It doesn't matter what side of the fence you're in, what side of the fence you're on, whether you like this or that, or, you know, it's political or whatever is that, but we should all be able to come together in a positive way instead of sitting there and talking about all the bad things that are going on. So look at, look at what's good. Look at what you have that's going good for you. Um, anyway, I am going to get to work. I've got a few things I've got to do. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Follow me on all the platforms. I want to thank my sponsor, Aggressive, who is helping me put on this podcast. It's great because um, some of the things that you see, like the clips and things like that, are awesome. They are very helpful, and, and um, it's making my job a little bit easier to help promote myself. Uh, Hunter Pence, still in contact with his wife. We're hoping to get that happening this weekend, but I don't know if it will. Um, they're pretty busy with spring training, but uh, we are in contact. So uh, have a great day.